All right, here we have a 12 volt, 30 watt bulb. Um, what? You're to the light. We're gonna see what happens. Go ahead, hit the light, David. Focus. Uh, hold on. Hi. It's David. Hold on. David. All right, ready to go. All right. Test is a go. All system functional. 30, 30 volt, uh, 50 watt bulb, and here we are for a go. Oh man. Alright, so it arcs right above the bulb, into the bulb, and goes out the metal on the uh, other contact. Uh, I'm curious as to why it doesn't just go right into the bulb, or it's touching. It may be the rubber cement that's holding it in. You guys put rubber cement on it? Yeah, to hold it in place. Yeah, There's a little spark starting at the seam between the bulb and the metal on the okay. top. Okay. Uh, that that suggests that the electricity is not going inside the bulb, instead it's yeah, going outside of the bulb. Um, and that little spark is where it uh, transferred from the bulb to the metal. Because otherwise the illumination, uh, the light would be illuminating with as much right. electricity going through it. Okay, Alright, well, that's neat. I don't know if we can get anything else out of this. I'm just talking quiet because they're recording. You done? Cool. Um, go. This bulb seems to be very brittle. Very brittle. <laughs> Breaks apart with just a tap. And again. Yeah, we're only walking barefoot in here. Go ahead and smash some more glass up. Uh, right. I guess I'm the only one with uh, common sense. I got my shoes on. Yeah, Eric, you can eat shit and die. That's pretty. But I choose not to. All right. <laughs> oh, it looks good.